Hello! For this video, let's try to explore the mean and variance and review kung ano yung natutunan natin okay? regarding the mean and variance of a random variable. Okay, so I found this problem on the internet. So, Savior's production line. So, Savior's production line produces a variable number of defective parts in an R with probabilities shown in this table. So, you have the x's here, which are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Ito yung values niya. And the probabilities are 0 0.15, 0 0.30, 0 0.25, 0 0.20, and 0 0.10 respectively. So, let's try to get the variance and the mean. Consequent, uh, and consequently, the, the standard deviation for this. Okay, so let's try. So, you have here the x and the uh, p of x. Okay. So, yung x natin would be 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Latag lang natin siya ng ganito, no? Para lang mas makita natin yung maayos. Then, you also have 0 0.15, 0 0.30, 0.25, oops, it's 25, 0.20, and 0.10. And for us to get the mean of, of this is, you have this formula, which is the mu or the expected value is equal to the x times the p of x. So we add another column for this, so that's x times p of x. So let's multiply. Yung x na to, sa x na to. Ay, sa p of x na to. Okay? So, line by line tayo. So, row by row. So, that will be 0 times 0 0.15 would be equal to 0. 1 times 0 0.30 would be equal to 0 0.30. 2 times 0 0.25 would be equal to 0 0.50. 3 times 0 0.20 would be equal to 0 0.60. And 4 times 0 0.10 would be equal to 0 0.40. And then, ito siya, yung ginawa natin. We multiply natin sa x sa p of x. And then after that, ang gagawin natin is we have to add all of them. So, yung sum nito would be equal to 1.80. Okay, so, this will be your mean. Okay? For the variance, so let's recall yung formula. No? We actually have two formulas for this, no? na ginagamit natin. Unang formula would be the summation of x minus mu squared times p of x. Okay? Another formula would be this. Summation of x squared times p of x. So, isasum muna natin yung, yung multiplication nila. And then, after i-add, you subtract the square of the mu or the expected value. So let's try to to use this, no? Yung una. Okay? So let's do the one step method. That is x minus mu squared times p of x. So substitute lang natin ng mga ito, si x si mu and then si p of x. Okay, so, ito yung mga elements na meron tayo. So, yung x muna, ano yung mga x natin? Meron tayo, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. We have the mu, which is 1.80. 1.80, then just do the operation. And then you have to substitute the corresponding probabilities per row. Okay, so like for example, 0 0.15, so makikita ko siya dito. So, 0 0.15. 0 0.30, dito din siya, and so on and so forth. And after substituting all of them, we need to calculate, okay, one by one. So, na-calculate na natin isa-isa yung mga values dito, okay, sa x minus mu squared times p of x. And then after this, we need to add all of them. So, kukunin natin yung sum, and yung magiging sum dito would be the variance. So, yung sum nito would be 1.46. So, this now is your variance. At para makuha natin yung standard deviation, we just need to get the square root of the variance. So, that's the sigma is equal to the square root of the sigma squared, which is the square root of 1.46. And makukuha natin, it's approximately 
1.21. So this is your variance. So you have the mean here, you have this variance here, and you have the standard deviation here. Okay, apologies for the notifications, but um, thank you for listening.